Well, this is always such a wonderful night. I want to uh, join my thanks with Millward uh, for the many sponsors, uh, all the uh, VIP guests, and all the patrons of the arts, and in particular, all the artists. This is the time of the year, uh, the special occasion. We get to recognize some very special people, and we will be doing that. It's also a time for me to take a few minutes to give a little bit about the state of the arts in Wyoming. And so this year I thought uh, I would bring it back a little closer to home and actually talk about home a little bit about the arts. And uh, so starting in our household, uh, I have my son Pete, and Pete is uh, playing the uh, violin. He's playing the piano. And uh, interesting, uh, this summer as we were getting ready to go on a 10-day uh, uh, campaign trip, uh, two things happened. One is, on the day we started, uh, my daughter said she wanted to start her uh, driving learning education. <laughs> so she was driving the pickup. And at the same time, my son declared that he wanted to start learning the harmonica. <laughs> you can do one or the other, but not both. <laughs> because on top of that, either Carol and I or I were trying to coach the driving and silence the harmonica. <laughs> but anyway, we had a, a wonderful trip. And uh, my daughter, Mary, uh, she is in choir. And for a dad's uh, biased ears, she sounds like an angel to me. And then Carol, <laughs> thank you. Carol, is, uh, as Millward mentioned, has done a wonderful job in my mind, uh, again being biased in promoting the arts, particularly with our young people. And that is so important because it's the generations coming up. We want to instill in them the importance of the arts and what it brings to them and what it brings to the rest of us. And for the fifth year in a row, I am pleased to say that I remain the only one in our household without any artistic talent. <laughs> I remain consistent on this, and I think I get credit for that. <laughs> we also, in our house, now have a fifth member of our household. Uh, Carol uh, has taken pity on a stray, very wild cat. <laughs> and as far as I can see, the only thing that cat does is spread fur all around, but in a very artistic fashion. Uh, so that is our household. <laughs> so as I give um, the address on the arts in Wyoming, I'll uh, first start with a question. Why do the arts matter? Why do the arts matter to us as individuals? Why do the arts matter to us as a state and as a nation? Well, first of all, as we just uh, witnessed, um, we have in Wyoming some incredible talent. Our poet laureate uh, always love hearing Echo. Let's give Echo another round of applause. <laughs> Recently, there was a survey that came out, and it talked about what employers today are looking uh, when they hire. And it was an interesting survey because of the major companies surveyed, 77% of them said one of their top priorities is they're looking for creativity. They're interested in people who have a type of art background, whether it is painting, whether it's music. And I would just point out with our singing statesmen, uh, when you saw and heard from some of them, not only did they provide us a beautiful presentation, but you see they are getting a great education as well. Weren't they terrific? Absolutely terrific. So the question, why do arts matter? It's a way to provide a great and diverse education. The second reason it matters, and this is important to our wonderful state, is it is an economic driver. And I just want to share with you some numbers from 2013, which are the most recent numbers available to us. It shows the Wyoming Arts Council, through funding from the Wyoming Legislature and the National Endowment of the Arts, granted almost a million dollars to Wyoming communities. And according to this, the Western States Arts Federation, this helped promote $85.3 million in the creative industry sales and about $70 million in cultural nonprofit revenues. Additionally, Wyoming had an increase in that year of 125 full-time jobs in the creative sector workforce. It matters for our economy. We should never lose sight of that. The arts are an economic force in Wyoming, and we're proud of that.
The third reason we care about the arts, you care and I care about the arts, it's history. As you came in today, many of you probably had the opportunity to see that wonderful painting out there of all the U.S. presidents. Art. Art has a way of sharing history with us in a way that is hard for anything else to do. When we look at pictures, when we look at poems, when we look at writings, when we hear music, it connects us with our history in an incredible way. So arts are important for us to remember our history and celebrate our history. The fourth reason, arts are a way to celebrate our culture and to recognize the culture from different times and from different places. It's a connection. It's a connection to times past. It's a connection to all things that we saw in the future, that we saw in the past, that our predecessors saw. It is a tie to our culture. The fourth or the fifth reason, and I think importantly, as I think of art, it is unique in this way. It's a glue that connects all of us. It connects generation to generation. It connects us to the land. It connects us to the wildlife. And we often talk about what is a universal language. Well, art certainly is a universal language. We may not speak the same language. We may not have the same religion. We may not be from the same country. We may not even be from the same political party. <laughs> but we can still all enjoy art in a remarkable way. And when you think about art that can connect people from different cultures, different parts of the world, different languages, it is that glue. It is something that each of us and our human existence have an opportunity to celebrate, to explore, to appreciate. And so why we care about the arts is because of that connection. The other reason we care about the arts is when we think about what we treasure in our lives, what we care about, what is important to us. Think about the treasures in your own life. Is it the new car? Is it the new dress? Is it the new house? Are those the things you will remember? Or is it the bunny that was made for you by your third grade student or your five-year-old? And I think it's a bunny, but I know <laughs> <laughs> that our kids brought something home that looked like a bunny. <laughs> And for Carol and I, it is a treasure. And the reason it's a treasure is because the reason all art is a treasure to us. Because in making that, whether it is music, whether it is poetry, whether it is a bronze, it is done with somebody's hands and their heart and their head. It is sort of the ultimate expression of oneself when they make art and when they share with one another. And so when we get something from our kids that may or may not be a bunny, we keep it, and we will keep it forever. We'll forget the new car, but we'll remember that because art is the ultimate connection between people in a way that we can celebrate and express ourselves, and that is why art is so important. So in my state of the arts tonight, I want to tell you, as this is my fifth year doing this, I would tell you that the state of the arts in Wyoming is strong, and getting much stronger. And it is in part because so many of you come to this event, and not only come to this event, but throughout the year help promote and to celebrate arts and to recognize the wonderful artists that we have in Wyoming. And we have built in Wyoming an arts community that provides so much to all of us. And as you get to meet the artists that uh, we have chosen for the Governor's Arts Award, you will agree with me that the state of the arts in Wyoming is incredibly strong. Arts are a treasure, and those who produce the treasure for the rest of us to share are those that we celebrate tonight.